This is where my time and attention have been going for the last uh, two or three days. I started by stripping off a piece of tape that had bubbled up over here and determined that I needed to go a bit further. So I, I ended up kind of stripping the tape off and then shaving uh, with the razor, shaving the edges back so they'd be nice and smooth. And as I went further, I discovered that there was a huge uh, gap behind here. So what this is in this area, sort of probably behind here, is the four inch vent pipe for the plumbing in the house. So there's a coupling between two sections of ABS, which had a basically a rubber sleeve and it's a thick rubber sleeve. So it stuck out. And so I couldn't get a piece of drywall over that because it just stuck out too much. So I filled in the area with uh, mud and covered it up with tape. And I guess somehow I missed the spot just, just in here. So as I was pulling the tape off and pulling more and pulling, this whole thing opened up. So I got a good start on it. Uh, I filled it up and then of course it would, um, it actually took me an hour to do this little tiny spot because the more mud I put on, most of the time I'd catch air behind there. So there'd be a great big bubble and then I have to literally pop the bubble with the side of the knife and then pour or attempt to pour more mud into the hole. So uh, the second night I've done that, um, the color difference here is caused by rust on the knives. I did not attempt to clean the knives off before I did this because I actually wanted to see the area where the fresh mud got put. So mo most of the stuff out here will, will just come off the first time I, I look at it with a piece of sandpaper. Not worried about that, but I, d I did want to keep track of that. Um, I'll prime it so that it doesn't come through the paint. But I've put another coat on tonight so it's smooth. Uh, inevitably, given the depth of mud, it will shrink a lot. I'll have to do this again at least once more tomorrow before I can even think about uh, priming and, and moving on. But it's been so long since I've done a video, I, th I figured I'd do one. Uh, so I'll just very quickly... I think it's showing. You can see spots where I've had to do some touch up with mud. Um, there's a coat of paint already on the wall, so I'll probably just paint over this. I won't bother priming th these areas again. This, uh, I will prime. I just want to make sure that that rust doesn't bleed through. And I guess that's it for now.